वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल हेज अपना फ्रॉम थिंक आर्टिस्टिक विद अ न्यू वीडियो नाउ वॉट इज दैट आवर वीडियो आई होप यू हैव वॉट द थम नेल आउट दैट इज ऑफ शेडिंग स्किन टोन वगैरह वगैरह बट ना आई वॉन्ट टू सेव द पेंटिंग विच द पिक्चर फ्रॉम विच आई एम टेकिंग इज इज हैज अ ग्रेट हिस्ट्री दैट इज इजिप्टियन एनोबिस यू कैन सर्च फॉर इट मोर इन गूगल दैट इज ए एन यू बी आई एस एनोबिस ओके नाउ दिस इज दिस portrait this whole work will be gone be, uh, will be on four different parts first part obviously this part which should be the shading how to give a realistic shading how to give a hyper realism shading second part is wrinkle and detailing third part nothing but uh, nothing but only the solid part which is left behind we are will gonna cover that part and third obviously i will make a one shot of all the three so that yeah, if you have clear with all this concept you can directly watch it out on the third the last video okay starting of the video i have already drawn the outline now taking the 2b pencil now first we will give a the first layer of 2b pencil <coughs> which would be the light layer hold the 2b pencil lightly so that to give a very light layer to it uh, you may find the to uh, be shade in the video like this but it's not actual because due to the reflection it's looking like this in the video see if you want to complete a hyperrealism work with only one pencil or only with one layer then it's not at all possible you have to give at least two to three uh, at least three to four layers for completing and giving a hyperrealistic shade now taking the same to be pencil we are going uh, by but holding it tightly we are going to dark the dark in the parts i have done time lapse so to save the time but it's really took a lot of time for me i think more than 4 to 5 hours to complete it you must ensure that you are leaving some white space in between so that uh, to create that type of reflection effect or to create that type of what we say uh, realistic effect or contrasting effect Here I am using a tissue paper for blending. You can use the brush, but I will prefer use tissue paper instead of blenders and brushes. Okay, uh, for blending, uh, I have first made the tissue paper into a cone shape uh, by rolling it, and then I have I am blending it. It's quite useful. You can use bird stuff also. Now taking a two edge pencil, I am just giving the outline of the eyes darkly because it's quite. dark see this whole work is made up of hb pencils of different shade that is 2 hb 8 8b such different shades of pencil we have used for making uh, this whole hyperrealism work there is not at all a single use of charcoal pencil if you are using a charcoal pencil then it might destroy the work but this is whole is made up of h hb pencils now see this is how it actually looks but due to reflection uh, it's not visible clearly in the camera let me adjust it first yeah now i i have been holding the 4b pencil to give the second layer for creating shadow effect and etc for creating the wrinkles also you can see you can take a part of the wrinkles here also you should all while making the wrinkles you should always take a dark line then you should shade it or blend it lightly and lightly then after blending the wrinkles after creating a shadow effect done by the wrinkles you have to again make a dark line upon that wrinkle so that it to give a complete touch again using the 4b pencil it will be blended later see if you are doing the work in a hurry hurry manner then it's a waste just because you have to do a minute to minute detailing in your hyper realism work to make it a, or to give it a realistic touch Now I'm using the 8B pencil for darker parts. Now again using the tissue paper for blending it. 
after blending i will be again using the pencil to give that part as i mentioned after blending the wrinkles part then you have to again give a dark line upon the of uh, upon that wrinkle here i have used eraser for a while to give that to achieve that uh, that shadow to achieve that reflection from the light which is coming to achieve uh, that effect uh, which i need i have here used thin blender to blend the some portion because that portions are the wrinkles part so we can't use the um, what we say can't use tissue paper for blending that part now again giving a layer of 2b pencil see i have already mentioned you have to do the work layer by layer first layer then second layer then third layer how we make a sandwich second thing if you are giving a first layer to the whole portrait then you are giving a second layer to the whole portrait if you are giving the whole portrait a layers by layers then it's the wrong method divide your portrait into different segments like bust head then nose then eyes then ears like that and uh, then shade it then it will be more easier more comfortable and uh, you uh, it would be easier for you to match the different parts uh, of the portrait Now that was it for today thank you and stay with us for the next part